we were here about a month ago talking about um, there again saw ways to carts the cart collection policy I explained to the board at that time that I had drawn up a if you will an SOP internally for the department and an application form for determining um, how we would like to go forth with these carts um, I think most of you have or this cart service collection policy draft agreement um, I started it it's gone under some healthy revisions uh, Jennifer had a, a major hand of it um, and, and and as did Ryan and that's why we brought him here tonight if there's questions that you have operational questions uh, Ryan is here to answer those um, essentially uh, well we go ahead okay we took the ordinances that have been passed by this body uh, like for instance what's in under chapter 761 we looked at back when uh, the board decided that uh, condominiums in excess of of up to five units could get ten carts yeah. uh, and also the board's decision back in January about you know maximum ten carts per location how would we implement that how would we handle that how would we move going forward we are not opposed to the 10 carts per per location we think that's a workable uh, item um, but we had a number of uh, discussions internally and externally and so that's why they're within this policy so the procedure or the determination policy would start with and I'm going to read from page uh, two. two is that where you'd like me to start yeah if you start here yeah yeah I, I'm only going to interject for a second because it's just a little bit of what's in front of you um, the determination process what you're reading here is what would be the policy if the board concurred with what we're recommending so this is how we determined we could use the 10 cart maximum the more than five condos uh, what would need to be adjusted to that and ultimately uh, it, it ends with what he's about to read which is a through G um, right. and then what would occur if you couldn't meet those right so the first you know to qualify to get carts and up to up to the 10 a under a you'd have to essentially be on a town accepted road already under B um, have access to a town road where the carts can be reasonably stored in other words um, I'm trying to pick it right off the bat of, of a site a site that probably has little or no frontage but that they could still bring their carts out to the street um, that's what we would cover under B but there again um, I know what B was now for when you looked at the Haven Drive the mobile home community set of interior private roads do I want all 120 carts out at the end of Haven Drive no and the reason being is it would cut down on sight distance and otherwise create a pedestrian or vehicle hazard and in other words I don't think we should be doing that um, the other thing is under C is that you, the carts that we would issue you you'd have to be able to store them on your own site Mm -hmm. um, I remember there was a place on I think it's H Street they never would bring the carts in um, we eventually took the carts um, if, if the other thing that it would uh, get into and with D is that if you don't have you might want 12 carts 14 carts 20 carts or more but if you don't have the ability to store them on your own yeah. property uh, you've, you've technically maxed out your site uh, to no fault of the towns um, and then under E um, if there's been a previous planning board decision or agreement with the town um, we're saying no but uh, under F we're also asking that we'd have a building permit issued by the building inspector or have been approved previously approved by the DPW director or their designee and the reason why this condition came in and this is one of the things that what we were talking about in the last couple of weeks 
what would I do if somebody who has a business on Ocean Boulevard and has three vacant lots for parking, if it, if it was just on a parcel basis, they could actually come in and apply for carts technically on a vacant lot. And we're saying no. If, you, if you're not generating refuse set up at a particular parcel, no carts. Right. But at the same time, we then got thinking about <coughs> what about the Hampton Beach Village District? What about the carts I stage at the end of uh, Atlantic, Concord, places where people come in off the beach? There has to be some mechanism for the director to say, you know, to control trash so it's not lining, being thrown on the street. I think it's prudent to put one at the end of Concord or Atlantic, locations like that, or to give the beach precinct, let's say, a set of carts so that people don't throw it on the sidewalk as they're leaving the beach. How about a uh, private parking lot? That, that might be someplace well, that's a vacant lot, but it's as long as it's... And, and that, that's in here, but we can cover that under... So, number of carts under G is single-family residents, two carts, one trash, one recycling, apartments, up to 10 carts, combination of trash and recycling, apartments, multi-structure, um, I think it says it's multi... No more than five units, no carts or collection services. Now, understanding that this this does not cover every single case and situation within the town. Right. Yeah. I am recommending that just like the board issues parade licenses, entertainment licenses, gathering licenses, that they entertain solid waste service agreements so that take that mobile home park that we were talking about we end, if, if you're in favor we'd enter into an agreement with them but at the same time if the road they'd have to one indemnify the town two and make sure there's insurance that indemnifies the town and three if the road situation in within that particular community either doesn't get plowed or the road doesn't get main maintained or it becomes a jeep trail we we have an out to say it is no longer safe or prudent for the town's equipment resources and manpower to go in those particular communities we've also and jennifer's can probably more elaborate on this we've drawn up you know a, a host of sites that we'd like to consider with you and discuss with you which ones probably you should enter into uh, yeah. a service agreement or, yeah. or what? So that's a perfect segue into if you're looking at G and you have the those three criteria. So obviously you'd have to meet these space constraints, have their ability to place them, have the ability to store them, um, not have been a development where you already made an agreement that said you would take care of your own. But basically, residential single family. When I say that, I mean lots. Think parcels like lot lines. A single family home with lot lines could have two carts, one trash, one recycling. In your current condo policy, you use the words condominiums and you say less than five may have service and thus carts but it's only the word condominium. And one of the things that came out in the Solid Waste Committee is, what about the apartments? What about the business condominiums? So if you're thinking one parcel, and they have one building, but there's more than five businesses in them, how should that be handled? So we've really tried to think about all these different things that come out. So in what you're seeing in G, is it's taking the condominium policy. Yeah, but isn't the condominium already been told that they can't have it because there's more than five condominiums? Right, so what I'm trying to do here is expand it that it's, the word apartment goes in. The, what if you have um, you have some places down on the beach should be like that have units. two, so that's what this says. So this is saying that it's apartments, multi-structure residential or business on one parcel. So whatever way you look at it, if there's more than five, and I always was going things, you know, five things on the parcel, you wouldn't uh, be eligible for the service just like the condos weren't before. Mm -hmm. 
Let her finish. So I think it's so it's just important that you, when you're looking at G, you see those three things, and that's where it came from. Um, it came from what the board had already done, but it also stems from going back to the direction in January. No more than ten cards, and no more than ten cards, regardless of who you are. So G gets you to ten cards as your maximum. There wouldn't be more than that. So we told you last time we were here, there were 77 properties that had more than 10 cards. Some 11, some 47. So there were 77 properties. What you have here is what I'm calling the handfuls of making sure you understand that if this is the way you would go, this is what would happen to that property right. because they're so unique. So I did. So are you handing them out tonight? So that's it was part of the package that I gave you. To I don't think I got it. Oh, yeah. I'll give them no. mine. It was. I have multiple. That's what I was looking through my stuff. I, I, oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I have that. So the reason that those are there, the, the reason I wanted to just walk through these is so that you could understand. Um, how the decision can affect the different properties. So if you look at this first one, it's a restaurant, it's another restaurant. What this is is the equivalent, and we're at 725 Lafayette Road. This is a business condominium setup. So you have multiple buildings, mm -hmm. multiple businesses that have more than 10 cars. Now on this site, I believe there are Five, and this is where we'd have to go through each and every one of these, there's more than five businesses. So the decision in G would mean that this parcel would not have cart service because they would not meet the criteria. So that is one example. Uh, the next page, five, uh, 507 Ocean Boulevard. This is... Um, this is just one of those ones, okay, we have the condo policy. Currently, it says five or more, you don't have service. This is eight condo units. They have 12 carts. Should we go with this policy, again with G, how we've written it, this building would no longer get service. Now, I keep saying no longer would, unless the board chose to say, you know, enter into a service agreement with these ones that have had it because well, they had it prior to these the are, These people were supposed to be having recycling. Right, so is and it this is where recycling now. Uh, no, they no. get trash and recycling yes, pickup. So that's why never, I'm trying to clean them up. Never supposed to be that way. So that somehow this morphed into this. Yep. I know all the people that lived there. It was never supposed to be that way. So it did morph, and yeah. that's why we're saying we're trying to go back to if. It's five or more does not have service. It's five or more. So this property would be affected. So do we want to take them one by one? So we have the first one, now we have the second one. I can tell you that, you know, I don't well, agree with you. Yeah, we'd like to, so to see, see what I envisioned happening in, Mary Louise, let me, three seconds, is that This process lays out where if these people want to continue this service, they have to request it of you. Hey, they have to put it in writing. Right. We'd like a Solway service agreement to enter into a Solway service agreement with the town. I would like... Yeah, but the, are they going to pay for it? I would like the town attorney mm -hmm. to draw up this agreement. Mm -hmm. And if you think that you want them to pay for it, that's up to you. Um, you know, the next one that Jennifer wanted to bring forward is, you know, it's because it's maxed out, is Cinnamon Rainbows in the corner. That's one unit, one parcel. But there's five businesses in there with little or no ability to store carts. Do we, we're asking somewhat for clarification, do we or do we not want to tell them Why all? do we go over all of them fast? Because it looks like it, this is going to be a discussion. I just have a point that I would like to bring up. Mm -hmm. I want to see this town turn over all but residential 
Okay, let's get them to go over this, Mrs. To Warren. Private let's do the whole thing. No, we're no, going crazy no. here. We're in the public have, works let's department. Let's let them go over this. I'm not done yet. I have a right to speak. Okay, okay we're going to go over this. No, no, but before no. we go through all the hysterics, turn this over to private. Okay, powers. that's why we're going to go over this, Mrs. Wilson, so they powers. can have their presentation. Okay, continue, please. Well, we shouldn't have to go through well, all this stuff. We're not asking to. for a decision, market, uh, a blanket decision. Okay, over. well, we got three separate things there, so why right. don't you just so continue? Let the people so who do seven. this for a living. Okay, Get Mrs. Paid. Wolseley, we're going to go, we're, you're going to have to be able to say all what you want after she's done all of them. So 507 is just an example of more than five units, and, and these are not the only ones. I'm giving you the types of things that we That's have ridiculous. in town. So this is an example. Uh, 931 uh, is, again, it's a, a business situation where you have more than five things on one parcel, so they have more than cards. The next one at 989 uh, Ocean Boulevard. This is condominiums, uh, 28 condominiums that receive full uh, trash and recycling. Ridiculous. Has been for a long time, and I believe that uh, their papers even said that they would because it was prior to the um, policy. The policy, excuse me. 12 Atlantic Ave. This is a situation <laughs> where I was telling you, again, in those Gs, this is two buildings on one parcel the total of which is over five units. So again, if we were to go with it, uh, they would be more than 10. Um, this next one, 10 G Street, this is an example where I wanted to use the word apartments. This is 17 apartments. They have more than 10 cards. So it's, you know, so it's all these things that if we want to be consistent. No, no this we, has to, this just, is please just yeah, go over The next one is uh, Gookin Court more than five cottages. No, 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 no. Uh, the next Guten Court is five cottages, but they have more than 10 barrels, so they do not get more than 10 barrels anymore. That was per your policy. Carts. 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 And then the next one is Kings Highway. Uh, this is Redcoat Lane. So this is a private road. We drive on it. This is what Chris was talking about, where we want, just like Haven Drive, uh, we want a service agreement if we're going to be going on a private road and continuing to pick up something like this. And those are the examples that we want every, we, we need the board to understand that the direction that we have comes with conflict. Is, that's not red code. That's not red code. That's red code. That's Sorry. Is, uh, Butternut Lane. Butternut Lane. Butternut Lane. Butternut Lane. Butternut Lane. Okay, Mrs. Wilson. No, yes. What, why Water are we Lates putting... the name of it? Yes. Yeah. Why are we putting public now. works through all this nonsense? Anything other than residential or duplexes should go out to private haulers. Let people who do this for a living make some money on it and get off all this stuff. You're going crazy for nothing. Just say no. Residential, single family residential or uh, duplexes. That's it, turn it over to private. Pe these people are in business to make money and you shouldn't have to go through with this. You're gonna go crazy, you got enough on your shoulders. We've got to, to clean the slate, we've got to set a specific date, we don't need you going through this stuff, nor do we need you handling state waste and I'll go there when we start mm -hmm. talking to the state on the joint operations plan. I absolutely object to continuing having the town, you're wearing out your your uh, re, your employees and you're wearing out your trucks and there's no need to do it. The town is so big now, we can't keep shouldering this responsibility. God bless you, you're working hard on it. But clear clear the decks, okay, let's hear what set a date. Regina has to say, yeah. Okay, so you're saying that this is a sample of all the different types of scenarios you have going on. Right. It's ridiculous. And it's out of this this policy, which I, I mean, I haven't it's really no had. It's no policy if they're going to do it. No, we're not going to do it. Well, no, but they do have within the policy service agreements, which they did talk if, to us if about. Wanna, if you want to, if you want to, I'm not, not saying I want to do anything. I just said this thing about ten minutes time. ago. I think one person has the floor. I think they should be allowed to okay, speak. Okay, then, then please don't speak. Let her speak. So, 
if we the board was to choose to go with this policy, Public Works is saying because these have already been getting picked up. Ryan, can, can I ask Ryan a question? Ryan, do you think that this policy in place would help you? I think there'd be some consistency to what what's happening. You know, right. I mean, we've always just been going to pick, pick it up. It's what we've always done. So I think there's definitely some consistency that to this. And how do you think it would reflect on the staff if uh, the service agreements for built for these buildings? I mean, if the service agreements were in place, and we just continue to do what we've been doing, if they, if they were given that. Yeah, but now they would have to pay for it. Well, I would think that no. would be part of the deal, yeah. It's still not That's going another thing. Right. As, okay. as I feel about it, uh, the, everything that this board, I don't understand why you're still working on this, because the board had voted months ago for this not to be this way. It had voted years ago not to be more than five units, condos, whatever you want to call them, apartments, they're all the same. It's right. It doesn't matter if someone, it, in order to have a right in Hampton, it doesn't matter if you live in an apartment or if you live in a condo that you've paid a million dollars for. You all have the same rights. And how can we have a policy when what's been making the policy not work is this. This makes no sense to me right. and is very unfair to all taxpayers. And why it's gotten shuffled and along here to this point, and when we've been, I've been trying for the whole last year to straighten this out. And now it's the last meeting I'm gonna be here and it's still not straightened out. And I'm sure it's gonna probably change again after the election again uh, depending on who's elected, but I think this is totally wrong and it makes no sense. Yeah. Jim? Yeah, thank you for the report. I think what you've done is you've shown, as we've said before, this very complex issue that needs, does not lend itself to simplistic answers and it needs a complex uh, development of, of issues to go. And, and what you're asking for is that we look at this, that you work with the town attorney, is this what you're saying? to drop the service agreement yeah right because i i'm not going to vote on this tonight because i think oh, we need to and we're not asking no agreement it. that that's all i got to say that i think it's it, it, it's a good it's the, the a good reason start, or the incentive problem. as ryan said is uh, to bring some consistency to this if we're trying to prevent i'm trying to prevent for my staff for our department the headache of someone coming to me and saying well you pick up haven that mobile home park where Haven Drive is. Mm -hmm. You do it because for safety reasons, you don't want all 120 carts at the intersection, God. especially where the kids collect for uh, buses but in the that morning. That shouldn't even be so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is ridiculous. And if we elect, you know, so if someone like that, some parcel like that was to get service, how do we then say yes or no to someone else? That's the conflict within the department. But the other thing is we're reminiscent of a year ago when this room was full of people who said, if we, you know, you picked it up before, you should continue to, the board put together a solid waste committee. I understand that they didn't come up with a defined or definitive answer for the board, but this is. Because it was this complex. It was because the, this complex. So it's our attempt to bring but some. It's Rusty's time for discussion. No, I think they brought in some good points. Um, it, it's unique. There's no other community that has this type of situation in it, and it's because of the way we are set up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I, I look at like you said the trailer park. You know, they haven't got room on any town street to put right. the number of carts they have in front of their property because all they have is basically the, the width of the street. Um, and so do we do we uh, not pick those up anymore mm -hmm. do we some of these places here are, are apartments that have you know, or condos that predate the rule of doing it so do we take that away from them mm -hmm. and i again so i think we need to ha hear more about the service agreement i think we ought to have the attorney look at it because the attorney's been looking at it for years <laughs> what's going to well, happen is someone's going to come and there'll be no garbage pickup anywhere yeah. before long that's because people are well, sick and i just yeah. don't want to see i don't want to see our, our our streets start to get cluttered with with dirt either and, well, and, and you know, garbage someone needs to say something about some people that do it right now today when i was waiting at the bank window across the street 
Now, there's probably, I think it's just unless there's a subcontractor in that, it's only one bank. So as one business, should they be picked up? No. And no, as one, no, the one businesses are picked up everywhere. So if yeah, you're one business, you can be, get picked if this up. Was one business, well, they have a trio, a trio, tri, 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 yeah. trash can in the very corner of their property. Yeah. And it is no bigger than the bottom part of two uh, phone booths. It looks like it probably would hold about at least four very large uh, things. But they do it. They don't mm -hmm. ask for stuff. And I think there's people all over town that don't ask and have there their trash picked up. There's a lot that don't. We have, I mean, yeah, there's a lot, a lot that don't because that, why should they? Because no, they, I mean, they're getting lot, it for free. Uh, no, a lot of our, our restaurants do it because it's much easier for them. They can put it out there. They don't have to worry about it. They don't have to clean their carts. They don't have to. They yeah, hide, they it, they bring them in, which I, I think is great. Well, and we, but we, And we need to have a policy to do that. Some of these places don't have the ability to store no, a dumpster. And that's true. But the thing is, what's going to happen is unless people are stupid that are doing it like that bank across the street, why should they waste money? I think that your business that you're arranging here and you're going to be charging people and stuff, towns mm -hmm. aren't in, supposed to be in business. Yeah. They're not supposed to be uh, right. working against some other big uh, mm -hmm. trash pickup company. Uh, and I think a lot of other people that aren't uh, bothering to have the trash picked up I think that they will be in the future. Uh, I would if I was in business. Mrs. Wolseley? Let's go back to private enterprise. Let ha You have people whose business is picking up waste. Let individuals hire whoever they want to pick up their trash. Enough. We've gone through all this foolishness all these years. Public Works has more to do than fiddle around with trash. The time has come, knock it off, uh, private haulers, and get it out of the way. You should, this is a terrible burden on you. And you shouldn't be putting all that stuff through the transfer station. You shouldn't have to handle that. You shouldn't have to have those huge big trailers dumping everybody's waste. Let's get off the dime here. And I go to that bank every day. I have never seen a, uh, I have never seen right. a trash hauler there, right. ever. But they any other further comments? Yeah, I have a so private enterprise. Let's just do so. If we were to take this agreement and end after G, and get rid of all this, no, G is what their limits that they're proposing, which is mm -hmm. for everyone. Mm -hmm. I don't. It's up to ten cards, which is what we agreed on. Up to ten cards. Well, make that we don't motion. Want 10 Now's cards. the time to do it. We've got well, to cut it off. The the I'm hesitant. The only reason, but no, I'm not going to make a motion to do this until we've given some type of a considerate. I mean, how long have we been picking up some of this trash for people? Okay, Since they've been there, yeah, and they've been lucky to have it. But yeah. enough is enough. But and we let them have it. So yes. before we take it away, we're going to tell them what our plan is going to be. Exactly. That's that's the only thing that now, I have. Are you making any of these judgments, Regina? Because these are some of your friends here. So my friends, the very first page you can look at. You yeah, that's, you not the I, well, that's not fair. she works there. That's not fair to say that. That's not fair to say that. She no, works there. This is how many out of the 77 there. properties? I don't care. Uh, uh, to me, it is fair. There's seven examples there. Seven, seven examples of, of the 77 th properties? It's all wrong. I've said uh, here all First of all, I just said I'm not making a motion. Did I not clarify that? I said I would like to, before we make a motion, I would probably be okay with any G getting rid of the entire service agreement. And letting, giving these people a heads up, giving the taxpayers a heads up. I don't understand They've what could possibly a heads be up wrong. For a long time, at least yeah. the last three years, we've been talking about this that this was already supposed yeah. to happen. And now we have a policy. Even though there's been motions made, it hasn't happened. It's yeah. wrong, wrong, wrong. We need to set a deadline, July should, 1st. The deadline July, was set. Deadline, We're already into the notice. second year of the deadline that was went that missed. Right. Well, we've it's got. It's totally wrong. I just can't understand it. And they shouldn't be put through all this. No, and Enough. neither should I, and that's Enough. why I'm not running again, because I'm getting sick of being part of this. It's totally wrong. Public Works has better things to do than collect trash. We're not in business. We're in business to be a town and do things, not mm -hmm. being trash and making up agreements. It's totally wrong. 
I thought the agreement was going to be up to 10 cuts, which is no, what this we would do oh, if we matter. would take There's, out the rest of it. We don't want well, any Well, then cards. let's do it. It's We've already done it, and no one's been doing what's been, what the board has made Could motions for. Could you redraft this for next time so no. we can vote on it without no, that? No, because no. I won't be here, so I've gotten cheated as being a selectman. Yeah. We don't it's want to totally do wrong, all this as far as stuff. I'm concerned. We want to say no private haulers affected and we have, July first or whatever. Well, well what's gonna happen is the public is gonna come in and make a motion, then no one none of these commercial people are gonna get picked up eventually is what's right. gonna happen. Well we will stick with the uh, you know the policies that have been passed um, yeah. and, and implement them. And yeah, we'll yeah that's what you should have already been doing. And we'll work it's already been out. done. Understood. So, okay. Anything else? The only other thing that it was a matter of business was, and it's up later, is the uh, permission to, uh, I believe, uh, McCarran Drive. McCarran Drive, thank you. I'm trying to think Dockham Builders. <laughs> Dockham Builders, I believe, submitted a letter to the board uh, requesting uh, permission for this department to go on to that residential street to uh, collect uh, their carts. Um, I think all but one house has carts. Um, we did note that it's, it has not been, um, it's not close to being accepted by the board. That may occur later this year after final paving. Yeah, they've done all their sewer work and right. sewer inspections. They have final coat left to put on the road. Right. Mm -hmm. But it is normal practice or has been since I've been director and you know, when Keith was here. Uh, to request your permission to enter onto, because essentially it is still private, private property, right. mm -hmm. uh, for the purpose of collecting those carts so that the residents don't have to pull them up the Woodland Road anymore. Why have they been issued carts if they're not, if the road is It is, is a not? normal process that once a building permit has been issued okay. by the town, we would then issue carts yeah. so that they could yeah. have sanitary you know, uh, ways of getting rid of their trash. But we do ask them we did it on Litchfield, uh, a number of streets. We asked them to bring them mm -hmm. to the already accepted street to such mm -hmm. time that uh, they either request this yeah. letter or the street is accepted by the town. A single family? They are single family. Okay. Question, so what is our policy now? We don't have one. We have a policy, it just well, hasn't been being followed. Because it's private property. Yes. In, in in some cases already still really considered a construction zone yeah. um, until it's really wrapped up. In other yeah. words, the curbing's in, all the sewer, mm -hmm. and they're out of the street as far as with construction stone and dirt piles and lumber piles yeah. and things of that nature. Then we feel safe enough that we can put Ryan would feel safe enough going down those streets with his equipment to collect those carts. But what is our policy going to be? You're saying to enact what we've already agreed on for a trash limit. So what is the trash limit? Because I thought we were waiting for a policy of standard operating procedures, we're, which we're we just, just received from Public Works that is not making the majority of the board happy. We're just one and one on, on single family residential structures. It's just one and one. Yeah. And what about policy. everything else? What, how you, you're telling us that you can't just do it a maximum of 10 limit bins. You're gonna have so to you're know. bringing us a way to do it, and it's not no, satisfying we, we, the majority we, of the board. We so can we can and will continue to only pick up 10 carts per uh, location. Uh, and so what does location mean? Yeah. That, that's the question that they had. That was right. the question. So and that was a very trying. good question, right. and that should have been discussed and looked at and answered. So, I, for instance, the, the, like if you were to ask me tomorrow, this the Cinnamon Rain Blows Block, okay, which is a restaurant, Cinnamon Rainbows, a real estate office, mm -hmm. something else, ten carts. Mm -mm. Well, period. So, I mean, they might have fourteen now. They're going down to ten. But that's and not solving the problem. No, and how many units? But that's our direction. There. It doesn't, no, yes it does. It How many matter. units is it? That uh, one is, it has five units. Okay, five it's five units. Right. It meets the standard. We mm -hmm. don't want, that was a, I took what you were uh, lobbying for as a transition. We no. have got 
to stop okay, picking that's up not commercial the, waste. Okay, Mrs. Wolseley, that's not what's on there. We're trying to get to the, uh, aren't you're not you trying to, to see what the uh, policy is, Regina? Right, and I know that we had a maximum of 10 limits, so. Right. Yes, no, that's and two to t into 10 is five units. So it's right. supposed to be mm -hmm. five units. But that's they can't five keep units. doing that. Well, they shouldn't have 14, we, they should have 10. Have. No, public works can't keep doing all this stuff. Mrs. Wolseley, stop that's picking up commercial waste. We're talking Let about. Let it go to. Uh, the American way. Okay, of, Mrs. Wolseley, we are haulers. talking about what the policy is in Hampton now. Well, it ought to be set up. Well, at, you voted getting, for the five before. By I need to tell going you. to private haulers okay. for non-residential trash. Well, with the last time we voted about He's, affirming the ten barrels, yes, and you I voted thought for that it. was a transition. Well, it wasn't. You were wrong. You didn't pay attention. Sorry, uh, no Rusty. Wonder. First of all, I thought we were a little bit past this and we were talking about McCarran Drive to allow us to pick that up and we were looking for the waiver to do that. The waiver, so that, yes. you're looking for that first, right now. So yeah, I, irregardless I, of this policy, yes. Right, you're looking for that, for the irregardless of the policy. So I'll make the motion that we allow Public Works to go on McCarran Drive and pick up those eight yeah. to ten houses that are there. Yeah, that's right. It's so, our houses. That's right. Yeah. So I, first but, I made that motion. I'll but, but only if the street is in sufficient condition. So the men and the new truck. They've already said that. We have a first. We have a second. All those in favor? Now I want that stipulated so we it, understand. Or Mrs. Wilson, go ride down there. It's a big road. I'm not going to go riding okay, down there. We anywhere. have five. And are you going I don't to vote? want them in trouble. Are you voting for, against, or? Are I you want against? clarity here, and I want to understand that. I am happy to have Public Works uh, go on. We're voting going right to now, so do you want to vote? We're not, uh, oh. We have Public four Works people voted is for. is going to go into a residential neighborhood as long as the road is sufficiently complete so it does not. They've already made the judgment it is. You, you okay, do yes. you want to vote for or You're, against Mrs. Totally Wellesley, or do you, you want, want to abstain? Falling potholes. No. no. Excellent. Okay. She's, it's unanimous. Thank you. I have one more. Yeah. Uh, well, I was up. And, and, and so going on, on your situation that you just said that they have building permits when they put new houses in on it's a private road and stuff like that. Uh, what happens when they change a the trailer road up in the trailer park? Do they have to get a building permit for that? Yes. So right now we are considering <coughs> all of the trailer park as one unit. Mm -hmm. However, there is... 126, 126 units in there, units in there and they've each had a building permit for each one of those. Mm -hmm. And again, that's a private road that we've allowed people to go on. Right. I, that's where your rubber of the road is right now. Right. Exactly. But I, I'm picking up only two cars at each residence. Exactly. But I'm also going on a private road, which is against. And so that's why you wanted this. That's why you want the policy. That's, uh, that's why you want the policy with the service, cover, the, the, service the, the service cover part. you and to cover us. Right. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to the get. The service at. agreement was not intended to allow people to go above these limits. Exactly. The service agreement was intended to cover us on private roadways that we have historically been doing, mm -hmm. such as the Butternut Hollow, the, be on private. the Trailer Haven. Park, the Hemlock Haven, Water and a few Glades. of our other examples of the 77. I only brought to you these in, these things, not to say we should have a service agreement, but to explain to you that with notice, those people would no longer be getting service and that we'd all be right. on the same page when that notice went out. Because when it happened a year and a half ago, it was our direction to send out that notice, right. and we sent it out, and mm -hmm. it went a boat. And so we're trying to be very forthright and say, okay, here are the examples. We're not saying <coughs> they should have a service agreement. We feel that the service agreement is meant for the private roads, for that one condo that actually their doc said they were going to get it. They're more. And I understand that. So yeah. that was yeah. that was our intent, and that service agreement was what was going to allow that non-conforming use to continue, mm -hmm. sort of like mm -hmm. the ZBA. And it wasn't going to supersede the right. condo projects that already have it in their Correct. Documents. And that moving forward, it would be, as Regina's, to G. You know, it, it would go through 
um, that policy, which encumbers what we've been talking about um, in the first place. So maybe more to just think about, and we can go back and. I mean, that's why it is a draft, and it's. I'm. I'm I personally did, wasn't thinking this night that I'd get approval to that. I thought it would go on for, you, you know, more in-depth discussion, rereading the impacts of it, and that's, what does council think? Yeah. Because. I don't want Unfortunately, to get though, it should have happened like a year ago. I and think not it should have happened. It's been sitting around for a year, and to me, something about it stinks. I, I can't help but feel that. I've been I'm telling sorry. the staff that it should have happened in June of yeah, 11. Yeah, and it's, I'm not saying it's your right. fault. No, but it's no. been, this is, it's things just get pushed around yeah, this way. Right. Like, I hate to say it, because I don't want to mention, because I'm probably losing customers right now. <laughs> but I will tell you that the ones that are right beside, they would like to have the same thing. Mm -hmm. So you could yeah. have a lot more pages there, and this business can right. be a growing we big success. Trying to say they but it's not be a town to. business. It shouldn't yeah. be a town business. We, we've got to get Public Works out of the mess. And they, go so to I could go office. right to, through these and just point how the other people are getting screwed that live next door to them. Private haulers. Private well, haulers. Well, the other people I do have private haulers. Good. But what's the advantage? Well, why should they? They should come and get because the Because it's not the job of this community. I know, community but, but the board allows provides. it to happen. Well, it, this has been going on for years, and now it's time okay. to cut it off. Well, I don't think it's, I think date. if we could just get it to go by what's been no. voted on by the board to do, no, we wouldn't have this problem now. All right. So I wouldn't waste any time on that for the immediate. No. Uh, I, yeah. We have God a, love you. We are moving on to other You've things. You've been going crazy always, but, with uh, that. Yeah. No, um, no. We, as I said, we just brought this forward as yeah. draft document suggestion, uh, stand to yeah. level the playing field. Uh, like yeah. Brian said, to you're wearing out your vehicles. The you're policy. wearing out your employees. Uh, you don't need okay. this. You've got right. Did you want? Thank to you. Both. Um, thank you, Rick. Thank you very much. Uh, just thank amazing. You. Since it. I've been here, you've been on the board. So <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck on what Thank you, Jennifer. It's going to be a